Hi guys, welcome to my channel Vinyl Beauty or welcome back. I'm Debbie if you don't know me. For today's video we're going to do a quick and simple pastel look. Now pastels are on trend again of course because of the new Natasha Denona release. I didn't buy that but I've got lots of pastel palettes in my collection and I'm going to use one of my absolute favourites today which is the Nomad Cosmetics Tokyo Harajuku. I've done a number of videos using this palette in the past, always enjoy playing with it even though pastels aren't really me but there's something about this palette so yeah we're going to do a look with this and if you want to see what look I create and what colours I choose to do it with then please keep on watching. Okay guys before we do the eye look I thought we could do cheeks together. I wanted to do a really pretty spring like cheek so we're going to use the Colourpop and Sailor Moon Press Blush in Cat's Eye. Such a pretty colour this one. Always makes me Feel very spring like when I use it. It's 18 degrees C outside today, it's just beautiful and there's not a single bit of wind, it's just like my perfect weather because I don't like it too hot but I do like to see the sun, it just really perks you up doesn't it and makes you feel like more alive somehow, it's just beautiful. The garden's starting to bloom a little bit and Everything would be great if I had a fence and I could actually sit out there. I still haven't had my fence replaced since Storm Eunice. We're struggling to get anyone to do it. But but yeah, I'm going to be sitting out there with a glass of wine later anyway. And even if the whole street can see, I don't care because it's just such beautiful weather. All right, so I really want to be blushy and kind of pinky pastel-y pretty with this. So I think that's as much of that that we need. And then for highlight, I've been enjoying this Alchemist Holographic Highlight Palette from Kat Von D from back in the day. This is ancient, but I love this shade in it called Pink Opal. So we're going to use that as highlight. Just really, really pretty without being like too glittery or too in your face really. But it layers really nicely over that blush. So I thought it would be a good one for today's look. So I'm going to be using some pinks today. So if you're not familiar with the palette, this is the palette and um, it's got a row of duochromes across the bottom there and then the rest are all mattes. We're going to be using kind of the shades in this corner today and probably a couple of the, the shimmers as well. I haven't decided on the shimmers but we're going to start with the lower lash line actually and I'm going to go in with Urban Decay's 24-7 liner in Deep End, put that in my waterline and on my lower lash line and buff that out. I just want a little bit of depth in the look. To make pastels work for me I have to have some sort of depth in the look. I can't do it completely ethereal and pastel. This is such a pretty colour pencil. So I'm just going to buff that out just a little bit. It will just give us that little bit of depth and dimension on the lower lash line. But it's such a summer colour to me, this kind of colour. Or spring colour. Okay to make pastels pop the same as neons you really need a white base so we're going to go in with the jumbo pencil in milk from NYX. If you guys have been here before you've heard me singing the praises of this product enough times but it really does make shadows pop but you do have to be super quick buffing it out and it does drag on your eyes a little bit. I love this face because it's kind of a little bit sticky as well so it makes the shadows really adhere and as I say they really pop over this. You can still do a pastel look over whatever base you've got you just won't get the, the vibrancy because pastels are white based. They always work better over a white base. Okay so I think what I'm going to do I'm going to use this green on the lower lash line I'm not going to use the orange I think, I'm going to use the purple in the outer part of my eye or my crease and use the pink in the inner part of my crease. I'm going to start with the pink which is the shade Lolita. I'm not sure if I've ever used this shade so it'll be, wow, that's like a real candy colour, really pretty. So I'm kind of packing and blending a little bit as I go. I'm going to take this fairly high and to about halfway across my crease. 
I've got some fall down on my lids, but it's not going to matter because we're going to cover that anyway. Need to run a bit more kick up in the pan than I'll remember. That's why it's all gone on my lids, but such a pretty pink colour. I'm just going to wrap that just slightly around the inner tear duct area. As I say to about halfway and I've used most of my eye space up to my brows actually but I'm not hating it. Then we're using the purple shade and I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this or maybe I will try it. It's Takinoko Zoku I think. Yeah you can see why I was worried about doing that. But oh, so pretty look. So I'm keeping this in a rounded kind of shape. Blending a little bit in the centre where the pink meets the purple, but nothing, nothing difficult at all. Almost packing when I get to this outer edge, make sure I've got plenty of the pigment there. And then buffing it in wood so that it can blend with the pink that we've already laid down. And then for the lower lash line, as I say, we're going to use the green, which is this one, Now Is Forever. I'm just going to run that along the lower lash line where we've laid down that cream pencil. I'm using sort of a fluffy pencil brush to do this because I want to kind of pack it but also blend a little bit as well. Then I'm going in with NYX Glitter Primer all over my lids. Rock my head back just a little bit so we can get that right into the crease. Kind of a little bit higher than my natural crease always works well for me. I'm not really doing a cut crease though, so it doesn't have to be precise. So then we're going to take the deeper purple here and the outer part of my lid. And we're going to take this pinky shade on the inner part. Oh, that's really, really pretty. I'm going to take it to about halfway, so I'm basically using the same colours. So like purple with purple, pink with pink. Lots of shine, it's really really pretty. And then we're taking the pink shade on the inner part, and wow, that shade! <laughs> Look at that shade, got a reflex of blue in that pink, it's so so pretty. Wow, wasn't prepared for that, don't think I've used that shade either. See, this is what's wonderful about rediscovering items of makeup in your collection, isn't it? It's even though I've done a few looks with this palette, I haven't used every shade, or even if I have, it's been so long I can't remember. Oh, that's stunning, isn't it? That's really popping over that glitter primer. It is pretty much looking like a cut crease across the front. Between where those two shades meet, I'm just going to go in with this shade, just to bridge the, the two together a bit. Just put a little bit, of, yeah, I think that's helping. It's just giving us that, that fade from one to the other. I was looking for, otherwise it just looks a bit harsh. It's going to take a bit of that shade that's on the inner part of my lids and put it around into my inner corner as well. Because it's just so pretty. Well, I think that might be one of my new favourite shades in my collection. I love not even realised it was there. So I'm just going to just work on just blending this edge just a little bit and then that's pretty much the look done. don't want to lose the opacity but I just want to make it a little bit less harsh. Okay, so that's pretty much the look done. Just going to hop off camera for a winged liner, mascara and a lip and I'll be back with you with the finished look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and I'm really surprised by how much I like it. As I've said a number of times, pastels aren't really me. I don't really naturally feel like myself in them but this is just so pretty. I think it's all down to that lid shade in the inner part of the lid. It's just so, so pretty. It's glitzy, it's catching the light. Just makes me feel really pretty in this makeup. I think because I've just had my hair bleached really light as well. It's all just like light and ethereal and yeah, really liking the vibe of it today. To make it me though, because my complexion is so pale, 
I've added a lot of blush but I've also added a big wing using the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I always feel like a black liner balances out like the paleness of the pastels. You could absolutely leave the wing out if you don't want to, to add a wing to the look. Just add mascara and it would have still been a really pretty look but I just feel more me wearing a, a wing. But the whole look was super simple, took about 15 minutes from when I put the eyeshadow primer on to actually finishing the wing. Obviously it'll be a bit less time that you're seeing because of the editing process, but literally 15 minutes, so it's really simple to do. So I hope some of you might be able to recreate it using whatever pastel palettes you have in your collection. You certainly don't need to be adding more if you've got one or two because pastels aren't shadows that you'll use a lot. So. I've learned that one. I've got, I think, 10 or 12 pastel palettes and I really don't need that many. This is why I haven't used all of the shades in this one because I've got too many. So just something to bear in mind. Now for lips today, I've gone in with a Velvet Trap lipstick by Jeffree Star. This one's in the shade Always Faithful. It's the only shade of these I've got, but this is such a good lipstick. It stays put really, really well, applies really nicely. Like it doesn't drag on the lips because I sometimes find bullet lipsticks do that. If they're long lasting, they'll drag on the lips. But but this applies super creamy, but it's still long lasting as well. Really, really good formula. And I love a pinky, lilac-y kind of shade, which is why I chose this one. I definitely want to get some more of these. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed seeing me play with some pastels. I think now I've got my hair super light and it's springtime. I might do a few more pastel looks actually in my own time because yeah, I'm surprised how nice it actually looks. So that's all I've got for you today, guys. Hopefully I'll have another video tomorrow. I've got a palette came in the post that I ordered back in February, so we're going to play with that tomorrow, but I won't spoil the surprise of what it's going to be. So if you're not subscribed already, you might want to consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on that. But just everyone, thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are. Keep safe and well, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>